From a previous uh, decade to now, the big fact is that everybody is going through a digital transformation. And for us, that means a few things. It is about people trying to make their own environments a lot more autonomous, a lot more uh, connected, and a lot more programmable. And towards each one of these elements in the backdrop that everyone and everything is connected sharing data, and the fact that it is all uh, trying to be a lot more in the hybrid cloud world with multi-cloud uh, when uh, multi-cloud management, and the fact that everything is becoming data centric, uh, we have a, a plethora of opportunities, uh, and those opportunities are grounded around the fact that around each one of these, uh, of uh, you know, uh, if you if you look at those as a vector, then we have an offering, which are all coming together in the form of a consumption model or a service. So every bit of these three elements, which is trying to be uh, cloud or hybrid cloud, uh, where you have to move workloads up and down to the cloud and back, as well as the fact that everything is going to be at the edge and not uh, too much of that is going to be in the data center, we have a value to offer. And some of those architecture that we're speaking about is all condensed around the fact that customers increasingly want to make more sense out of the data that they have. And it is stunning to understand that in about a few years, by the year 2025, you would have a few billion people trying to interact with about 40 billion of these devices all over the world. And that is going to kind of throw up humongous amounts of data. And to be making sense out of it, and today's sense is that just 6% of that data is actually being, being comprehended and intelligence is being drawn out of it. And just imagine a sequence when you would be able to do everything the way you wanted to from your data center because you're going to be running uh, multi-cloud, hybrid cloud management because underlying these data layers are going to be many types of clouds, big and small, and they would be actually being managed out of a central place which could be your IT. And the fact that everything is data driven, HP has decided to have a very solid architecture around the edge centric world, the data center world, which is going to be a lot more autonomous, and the fact that everything that we make as an infrastructure is going to be software defined, and as well, the fact that we would be embarking on a journey which is going to be making customers' lives a lot more easier because the transformation journeys that customers undertake towards the cloud from just the traditional applications to cloud native, making containerized platforms and hence intelligent data platforms all condensed into a whole beautiful whole all managed and designed by the advisory and professional services of HP, uh, all of that available in the form of a consumption service. And just imagine that in your context of artificial intelligence and machine learning and the likes, you would have platforms or so infrastructure software pieces like your blue data or a mapper coming together to make sense out of the many pieces and disjoint information systems that you would have in in, in terms of flat files, distributed file systems like Hadoop and databases. So we're bringing all of this together in a very harnessed manner. And as you do that a little more, as, you get, as organizations uh, dig deeper to make more sense of the data in the cloud-centric data-driven world, which is also going to be edge. And we do realize that 75% of, uh, of this data generated and the application that we are doing today would be outside of the context of a data center and an edge. So we have a plan and architecture for each one of these pieces, like for example, I spoke about blue data and mapper and so on and so forth, all available uh, within the construct of our consumption model called the Green Lake. So uh, if you're looking at uh, designing an enterprise of the future, which is going to be a hardware layer, a software layer, and a middleware layer, and add a dataware layer to that, then mapper fits in there, and then infrastructure piece uh, or infrastructure software like Blue Data helps you spawn those uh, elements of uh, your artificial intelligence and machine learning. So as organizations move from batch analytics to a lot more real-time uh, streaming analytics, all of the architectures that HP has put together available under the consumption model would be a phenomenal worth to kind of relate to, to experiment and make the enterprise architectures for the future. Thank you. Thank you.